This question comes from Travis in Terre Haute, Indiana. Ric Flair was on Busted Open Radio this week and gave the three names that he considered to be the top stars in the history of the business. Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and The Undertaker. He said the three of them have drawn huge amounts of money. Do you agree with those names? This kind of goes to that whole Mount Rushmore thing that I used to get questions about every other day. Thank God I don't anymore. Uh, and Flair himself tweeted about this once, the whole Mount Rushmore thing many years ago. He listed, uh, there was a list that had himself on it with Hogan, Austin, and The Rock. And I think somebody else had put a graphic together with those four, and he sort of endorsed it. I guess the Mount Rushmore thing doesn't have any set criteria to it. In this case, he seems to be talking about who made the most money. Like, who was the biggest star in that respect? If I had to pick three names, Hogan and Austin are a given. You cannot make a list like that and not include Hulk Hogan and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Regardless of what your personal thoughts might be about them, you cannot make a list like that and not include those names and expect me to take you seriously. Outside of maybe the biggest Japanese names of all time or names from Mexico who became huge parts of the culture in those countries, the two biggest names, the two biggest stars in the history of, uh, of the business are Hulk Hogan and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, Austin had a much shorter run than Hogan did, or even a person like Flair, but they are the two biggest, bar none. But who's number three? I don't think it's The Undertaker. I think it's The Rock. People talk about Rock and Austin, right? Rock and Austin. Austin and Rock, like they're peanut butter and jelly. And Austin is always on the list. Rock is not always on everyone's list, though, which is very interesting. They were both megastars at their peak. And when Austin got hurt, Rock picked up the slack as the top babyface just fine. They would have been in real trouble if The Rock wasn't there. When he came back and he had that first match with John Cena at WrestleMania 28, it did bigger box office than any other WrestleMania match in history. Blew everything else out of the water. That's the star power of The Rock. He became an even bigger star outside of the wrestling business, but when he did come back, WWE benefited greatly from that. And he's still a huge star to this day. He just, you know, he's got that aura about him. I think you're looking at that opening segment of WrestleMania 30. I think back to that segment. The three biggest stars in one ring at the same time. Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and The Rock. It really comes down to how you define it. You know, Ric Flair may be the greatest wrestler of all time. When it comes to just being the total package of what a pro wrestler should be. Macho Man was another. Great wrestler, but he had the personality. He looked the part. His promos. The guy just defined what a pro wrestler ought to be. And he's another name that isn't necessarily on a lot of these lists. If you narrow it to just three people or four people, Macho Man's not on a lot of those lists. Are they bigger stars than the other three? No, they're not. And I love the Macho Man, you know, and I love Ric Flair's work too. But are they bigger stars? Are they bigger stars than Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold, and The Rock? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. Flair, I think you could argue for that third spot. Maybe he was just being uh, modest and that's why he didn't name himself. You could make the argument that Flair belongs there. And by the way, these are not ranked. When I say Hogan, Austin, Rock, I'm not ranking them in any particular order. I'm going in probably age order. Okay, so Hogan being the oldest, then Austin, then Rock. Uh, but you, I think you could argue Ric Flair. The Rock said so himself. The Rock was asked this question many months ago in an Instagram post. He named his top three greatest of all time as Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, and Steve Austin. And he said that, well, you know, I, I just connected with the audience and I caught a break. And those other three paved the way for me. Well, okay, sure, they did. But just because they paved the way for you doesn't make them automatically a bigger star than you. That would be my argument, why I would include Rock on my list. He's being humble. But everybody is going to have their own opinion of this. I'm very, I'm, I'm fascinated now to see what the comments are like. Uh, and it may be colored by the era in which you grew up. If you grew up in the 80s, if you were watching Crockett, you know you may have some of those names on there. If you grew up during the golden age of WWE with Hulk Hogan and the Macho Man and Andre and those people, 
uh, or if you grew up during the Attitude Era, or if you grew up and you were watching John Cena and Randy Orton and Edge. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to believe, but yeah, there probably are some people at this point who maybe are uh, in their teens who only know of those guys as being the big, big stars. So I think a lot of it probably is colored by the era in which you grew up, but I, I just don't see how you have a list without at least Hogan and Austin. Without them, it is just not a legitimate list.